Okay, so good morning, good afternoon, good evening participants. So uh, I'm joining this uh, second event on how to auto level the resource workload using Microsoft Project. Uh, let's have a quick uh, overview about uh, what is leveling, okay, and uh, what are the options available within Microsoft Project for this purpose. So let me go back to my desktop. First, let's talk about what is workload leveling and why do we need to do it using Microsoft Project. We look at the different scenarios why resources get over allocated. And finally, we look at the important topic, how to delay or split activities using the auto leveling features of Microsoft Project. Let's first understand how scheduling works in terms of Microsoft Project. Microsoft Project schedules the work for a resource based on his calendar which means if a resource is uh, working at the company for eight hours, morning eight to evening five. So during that particular time, the work will be scheduled and the work will be planned accordingly. Though the resource might be working eight hours at the company level, he might be allocated to the project less than 100 percentage. So there is always a chance that Microsoft project might overload or over allocate a resource. So workload leveling is a process by which you are trying to resolve this over allocation so that the schedule is more realistic in nature. So let me go back and do a quick check. Okay. So let's look at the different scenarios why resources get over allocated. So scenario number one, the resource might be given more work than its availability or the resource is given some work outside its availability or the resource might be working on two or more tasks simultaneously during the same week. So let's look at some few scenarios. Why does it happen? So I'm going back to my Microsoft project. So I have a set of tasks, okay, and these activities have some durations and they have some resources assigned. So you can understand that uh, I have assigned some resources. So let's look at some resource data here. So I go to the view tab, I go to the resource sheet, so you can find that some of these resources are over allocated and they are indicated by a red color. So let's first understand what is the information we have recorded about these seven resources. Each resource has been assigned to the standard calendar, which means they are working from morning eight to evening five at the company level. And all of them are allocated to the project for 100 percentage. Now let's take an example about Vijay here. Okay, I'm going to open Vijay. He says that this resource is working on your project from 29th July till 31st of July and 100 percentage. So if I give this resource work before 29th or after 31st, the resource will be flagged as over allocated resource. Okay. Now let's uh, double click uh, Matt. Okay. So maybe I'll just double click Peter. So if you look at uh, Peter here, this resource is allocated through the project. So he is allocated 100 percentage in this case. So we will come back to this red color at a later point in time. But first, let's go back to Gantt chart. So if you look at Gantt chart, maybe let's take uh, Peter here. Peter has been assigned to this activity. So I will open that task, go to the resource tab. You can find this resource is assigned to this task for 100 percentage. Okay. So let's say that if I increase this percentage from 100 to 125, what we are trying to mean here is we are asking this resource to spend 125 percentage of his working time on that particular day, which means effectively I'm asking him to spend complete 10 hours of work in eight hours working time. So if I do that, you can find the resource gets over allocated. You can find that there is a red color statement that appears for row number one. Let's take another example. If you look at row number three and row number five, okay, you can find the same resource AB has been assigned to it. Okay, so this is the second scenario we were trying to talk about. The third scenario is a resource might be given some work outside its availability. So if you take the example we were talking about, Vijay has been given some work uh, during 29 to 31st, which falls, which is within his availability only. For example, if I say he needs to do three days of work, which means he is completing it only on August 1st. So August 1st he is not allocated to the project that is outside his availability. So he is said to be over allocated. 
Okay, so these are the possible reasons why resources might get over allocated. So I'm just going to remove the last few changes I have made. Okay, and uh, I'll go back to the resource sheet. And I'll just change it to. Okay, so here in this case, I'm going to take only this one example of Abi, and you can find this resource is allocated to the project 100 percentage and uh, is working eight hours per day at the company level. I go back to my GAN chart. You can find this resource is over allocated because he is working on two parallel activities. So there are multiple ways by which you can resolve over allocations. But in this webinar, we are going to focus only on how to use the auto leveling feature of Microsoft project through which you can delay or split activities in the schedule. So before we talk about delaying or splitting activities in the schedule, we need to understand the concept of critical path. So if you take a look at your current plan, the total duration is 12 days here. So how is this 12 days calculated? If you look at all these tasks, they have a predecessor and a successor connected to it. So you can see every activity is connected with each other. So your critical path is a set of activities that cannot be delayed in a project. In case if you delay the activities on the critical path, it will affect your project finish date. Now let's take an example. Begin bug tracking. It falls on the critical path, right? So if I revise its duration from four days to let's say six days, you can find its finish date is getting affected and the project finish date is also getting affected. And the project duration is also getting changed from 12 days to 14 days here. So this is a small example to illustrate that any delay in your critical path is going to affect your project finish date. So the first step is when I am going to talk about I'm going to delay the activities on my um, uh, project, right? So you need to delay these activities such that your critical path or your project duration is not getting affected. How do I do that? Uh, I have seen people using this option, right? They select this particular task, maybe. Okay, so this is the activity that is having the conflict. So they will go ahead and change the dates here. Remember, changing dates here will only put constraints. Okay, so I recommend don't change dates. Rather, make use of the uh, leveling options available in Microsoft Project. Okay, so I'll go back to my slides. So this is what we were trying to discuss on, right? So why resources are getting over allocated. Uh, let me go back here. Yeah. yeah. So the first step is uh, you go to the resource tab, okay, and you have an option called leveling options. So I go to the leveling options here. Uh, so there are several settings here, okay. So we are going to look at the first settings here, which says automatic or manual. When you say manual, Microsoft Project will identify over allocation and stop. It will not try to delay any of the over allocated tasks, okay. But when you say it is automatic, it will make use of the settings what we have in the second and the third uh, compartment of this dialog box and it will automatically delay one of these two parallel activities. So I would recommend from the learning point, have it as manual. The second is you would ideally want to look at over allocation either at a day level or at a week level or at a month level. So in this current project plan, we are more looking at over allocation at a day level. What I mean by day level is, on a day, I can work only for eight hours because my calendar says eight hours. Okay, it might be that that on Monday and Tuesday I'm over allocated. Maybe Wednesday is to Friday I'm idle. So if I go by day by day, that might be uh, trying to push too much to the resource. But if you relax it to a week by week, okay, just observe what happens to this red color indicators. It disappears automatically. So though the resource is over allocated at a day level, at a week level the resource is no more over allocated because the total effort is spent is 40 hours or less than 40 hours only at a week level. So we will make it more realistic, we will have it as day by day. Now let's directly dive on to these options here which is what we are going to focus on. So when you say leveling order, there are three options we have. By default it is standard. Okay. Uh, but we'll go in the order in which it is listed. So we'll select ID only first, okay? And we'll come back to these checkboxes later. So I'm going to turn off all these checkboxes. So when you say ID only, okay, and I say level all, project will look at, 
Okay, I'll just say OK first so that you get this over allocation. Project will look at the list of resources in the project that are over allocated. Okay. And it will, so in this case, Abhi is over allocated because he is uh, working on two parallel tasks three and five. So in this case, you would like to tell, if I say ID only, the task that is having the lowest row ID. In this case, three is having the lowest row ID. So that task will not be delayed, whereas a task that is having a higher row ID will always be delayed. So if you take this example, row number 5 falls on the critical path, whereas row number 3 falls on the non-critical path. So when I use ID only, uh, you are going to delay your critical path activity. So let me say level all. So you will find row number 5 is getting delayed because it is having a higher ID than row number 3. But effectively, you have resolved this over allocation by delaying one of these two parallel tasks. So this is the first option which you might want to understand. The second option is if I go for standard project will look at between these two parallel activity which falls on the critical which falls on the non-critical path or in other words it will use this term called float or slack. So I will insert this column called total slack. So you can find row number 3 is having 4 days of slack, whereas row number 5 is having 0 days of slack. A 0 days of slack means that task cannot be delayed in your project, whereas a 4 day means that task can be delayed by another 4 days without affecting your project finish date. So I will go there and I will say standard and I will say OK to it. Okay, So I will say level all. Now you can find which task is getting delayed. The task that falls on the non-critical path is getting delayed in this case. So naturally, row number 3 is getting delayed. So if I use standard, uh, you have a higher chance that you, know, you are not going to change your project finish date or your project duration. Okay, fine. So any questions on this uh, in the middle? Okay, so let's proceed. Um, we go back to the desktop. So this is the second option. Okay, so the third option which I'm going to talk about is uh, we are going to make use of these options here, right? Level only with an available Slack. Leveling can adjust the individual assignments of the task. To understand these two options, I'm going to make a small changes in this plan. First. Let me split this view. So I go to the view and I turn on details. So on my bottom, I can say the task form. So I'm going to change the task form here to task usage. So let me look at that task. Okay, so. Okay, so I'm just going to make some small changes. Okay, so let's see, leveling delay is zero. Okay, so. So what I've done is I have this over allocation problem again, and uh, I want you to closely observe uh, this task, evaluate uh, financials. So there are uh, this resource, uh, two resources are assigned to this task, and they are working for eight hours per day on two days. Okay. So in the earlier scenario, if you look at it, evaluate financials was delayed. Okay. So I am going to repeat that step. Leveling options and say standard. I'll say level all. So you can see that that task is getting moved to a later date and both these resources are working on the new dates. But you might have a scenario where I would like uh, only the over allocated resource assignment to be delayed. The other resource can still work as per the old dates. So you just go to the leveling options. You have it as standard. I will go for the first option saying leveling can adjust the individual assignments on a particular task, which means the task that is going to be delayed if there are multiple resources who are assigned to the task, only the assignment of the over allocated resource will be delayed. So I have set a, set a standard leveling can adjust individual assignments. I will say level all. Now you can find it's only his Abhi's assignment has moved. Now he starts this work only on Wednesday, whereas Vijay starts his work on Monday itself. Now you can find uh, together the first resource starts on Monday, the last resource completes on Thursday. So effectively, the duration of this activity is four days here. Okay, 
Good. So these are the options. Okay. So if you look at it, we have looked at options to delay an activity as well as to split an activity based on the options we have seen. Okay. So there are other options which you might want to look at, which I'm not going to focus on much. So there are options by which you can say that the task that is going to be delayed should be delayed only within its available float. Okay. That is the available slack. Uh, if there are activities that needs to be split into multiple pieces, you can go for the third option saying leveling can create splits in remaining work. So using all these options, right, you can only delay an activity or split an activity. You cannot uh, swap resources or you cannot change the working time accordingly. Okay. So let me go back to my presentation here. So I hope that uh, this 15 minutes uh, video on uh, how to use the auto leveling feature was useful for you. So this video is recorded and it will be published in this channel, which is uh, accessible to all of you. So you might want to go back and play this recording. And if you have any questions, write an email to this email address. So I hope uh, this uh, webinar was useful for each one of you. And uh, next week, we are going to look at another exciting topic. And if you have any feedback, please drop a note to me. Thank you, people, and have a great day. Thank you.